Being in your 20s makes you feel the pressure that you need to enjoy your time while you still have that bit of youth. And with the temptation of spending your first paychecks, it's hard to set it aside for savings. You don't have to choose between having fun and not having fun. Let me show you some ways where you can make money and still enjoy your 20s. <laughs> In a talk by Meg Jay, a clinical psychologist who specializes in people in their 20s, she said, your 20s is the best time to claim your adulthood. Those are the first 10 years of your career, and it's gonna have a whole lot of impact in how much money you earn and how you earn. It's best time to save right now because what you don't wanna do is pass on the opportunity of saving early. Because the more time you spend on saving, over a long period of time, you can build and amass wealth. A great method for you to follow is to improve your savings with the 50-30-20 rule. To spend 50% of your income on your needs, 30% on your wants, and 20% on your savings. 30% is still a lot for you to spend, so you're not going to miss out on having fun. And if 20 and 30% is still a lot for you, then you can start smaller. What's important is that you start right now. I always say you can start small and then increase over time so you don't feel that pinch. Set a budget for your important goals while you're still in your 20s. It's a magical time for you to put the systems in place. Remember, all of these savings doesn't mean that you can't have fun. What you wanna do is start a budget you have made, not somebody else. So let's have some fun. You know that 30% that you're gonna spend on? Let's start to think about all the things that you really wanna spend that hard earned money on. It's a fun way to entice yourself about your savings plan and budgeting. As long as you have a goal in mind and you're budgeting, it's important for you to always have a good quality of life. If you're someone who's busy all the time and you have a hard time deciding on things, what you can do is get the help of technology such as apps to secure your payments on your monthly expenses. I'm sure being a tech savvy 20 year old, it's gonna be very easy for you to set up. So no excuses, you have plenty of apps out there that will help you control your expenses and your bills almost automatically. And by automating your expenses, you have less to worry about your debts and your savings. And you'll have a better picture about exactly how much extra money you really do have. And it's easy for you to access information. Just following the 50, 30, 20 rule is a great way to start. You'll have extra money, you can start to invest that. And if you're a little bit riskier, you can even try crypto and NFT and stocks but if you want something safer and you're not in a hurry to make you know huge increases nowadays you can also go for bonds I said the big capital B word a while ago and I had a whole bunch of people bonds well you know what do you why are you even recommending that and inflation and blah 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 if you've got nothing bonds are better than a lot of other vehicles as far as safety is concerned and I still hold that as my opinion to recommend bonds as long as you research the product it's not so important what you invest in over time. If your strategy is long-term, it's definitely going to pay you and yield you the results you want. Hey, if you're enjoying this content, again, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure to that like and subscribe button. And let me and the YouTube algorithm know that this video is valuable to you. I'll continue to make content like this every single week. So make sure you turn on that notification bell as well so that when I make a new video, you are informed. Just a break, I have some really exciting news for you. I'm proud to say that I'm about to release a book very soon. And if you wanna fulfill your dreams on becoming a millionaire, get this book as soon as you can. You won't regret a single cent you will spend on this book, especially for people who are trying to get into investments and don't have the financial literacy needed. That's why it's called the first step to becoming a millionaire. And the great thing is that the proceeds from the book are gonna to go to charity so that I can promote financial literacy. Hey, look, it's important to prioritize your investments and savings for the future. Look, consistency is key. And even saving a small amount of money will add up. Coffee, donuts each day, parking, you start to add that up and that's all money that you can put into investing. And over time, it will indeed make you richer. Is it gonna make you a billionaire cutting off your coffee? No, but it certainly can add up to thousands of dollars later. It doesn't matter what everybody else thinks. This is not a popularity game. If you wanna become wealthy over time, then make cuts all across your life with regard to saving money and prioritize. That means that you're not gonna have everything you want all the time. You might have to sacrifice here and there, but maybe there's some things that you really, really enjoy that you can buy or contribute to in your life. And I also want you to remember to set aside a little bit of money for your social life. When I started saving, I still enjoyed time with my friends. I didn't order the biggest meals. Sometimes I ordered water and not drinks. 
I didn't really care as long as I was able to spend time with the people that I loved or enjoyed spending time with. Because it is essential for every human being to unwind sometimes. And it doesn't always mean that you have to spend a whole bunch of money to enjoy spending time with people. Walks along the beach and hanging out at the park or playing basketball, none of this requires a whole lot of money. So by having a savings plan, by having a budget in your early 20s doesn't mean that you'll have an unbalanced life that is not rich, that doesn't have a lot of fun. Remember, the harder you work, the more money you save, the more fun you can have later on. And the internet is making it a whole lot easier for you to even travel while you're still earning money and making sound investments. So use technology to lessen your burden and to explore investment opportunities all the time and be open and mindful to meeting new people and being introduced to even more in life. It's important for you to have fun and socialize, but it's also important for you to consistently apply sound investment strategies over a long period of time because life waits for no one and time goes by really quick. And if you want more information about building wealth while you're still young, Check out three strategies on how to become a millionaire in your 20s next.